Hello everyone! So this is a follow-up video of the one I just did. I'll just link it in the video on top. The previous video I made about Android Cam and how to use your Android phone as your webcam. So as you can see on this part here, upper side of the of the screen, you see there my Android Cam client. By the way, um, should be noted that when you connect through Wi-Fi, the connection should be the same with your laptop and your phone. So I placed the phone here on the on my right side so that you will see the preview of the camera. Okay, so now we will use it for three applications. We'll start with Microsoft Teams, followed by Google Meet, and then we'll try it out with Zoom. Okay, so let me just launch my Teams here. So it's very easy for you to set the devices here on Teams, so let's just go to a team here. So let's see. Then we'll call for a meeting. Meet now. So on this part of the Microsoft Teams software, you see here more actions. As you can see, there's no camera here as of the moment. We have to change first in the device settings. Okay, so here you see the integrated camera. We have to change it to Droid Cam Source. There, you see the camera now. So that's how you change cameras on your Microsoft Teams app. Let's close Microsoft Teams now. And let's open up Google Meet. Let's open Gmail. It will be found on the leftmost part. So let's start a meeting. Okay, here you have more options. Settings. Change the video first. From the integrated camera to droid cam done and as you can see the camera is now or meet is now using the droid cam camera right let's try the meet here so you see it's now using the camera from my droid cam on my phone the call there and let's try out one more software which is zoom okay this is my zoom app let's just create a new meeting okay don't need to test the audio right now since we're just focused on the video now, if there are times when you can't see the correct camera, just find this icon here that says video. Then choose the camera you want. As of the moment, it's already connected to my Droid Cam Source. You can also choose to have integrated camera. However, it's being used right now by you. So. Let's go back to Droid Cam. Let's end the meeting first. Back and make it or call again for me. So there. Now using Droid Cam. Okay, so I hope that answers some of the questions about how to use Droid Gam and your teleconferencing software. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.